Boosie said he coming back to Dallas. Coming. And what he said? Mm -hmm. He said he coming back to Dallas. This will be his first time coming back. He coming. I talked to myself. He said he coming. He coming. Security up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Man, Boosie said he coming back to Dallas. Coming. And what he said? Mm -hmm. He said he coming this back to Dallas. This will be his first time coming back. He coming. He I talked to myself. He said he coming. He coming. Security up. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to be anyway. Yeah, you have to be in Dallas. Dallas is a wild, wild west. Why do you think Dallas is like that? Uh, Because... Uh, it started when that popcorn hit, right? When, when we were smoking regular Reggie weed, and when popcorn hit, it fucked up the whole generation. All these kids, seven what to eighteen, popcorn? it's 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 the mid grade of weed from all the way to hydro. It's the mid grade. Okay. It's some weed that we thought was good weed that came from Arizona. Okay. And it's they drop they drop down to West Dallas. It's you know what I'm saying? It came from West Dallas, so that popcorn fucked up a lot of shit. Right? Like, like it fucked up a lot of shit. So all these kids come from popcorn babies. Then they come, now the generation after this, they come from handlebar babies. Because when I was going to school, we were stuck on handlebars. Handlebar times and handlebar babies are coming. Them black used to get them two for five. Right? They call them balls. So this generation after that, they gonna be Percocet babies. Mm -hmm. They gonna be worse. You gotta be a, you, you gotta be an ignorant mother Pop a Percocet But a lot of people do it Man and you don't see All these people Bro it's this beautiful White girl That I used to be cool with Just died It's just Fentanyl not worse uh, yeah, No no But you don't know But that's what's In these pills It's It's, it's fentanyl In these handlebars Handlebars okay. is worse Than cocaine mm. Straight up And you used to Take it in high school no, 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 no. We took we took handlebars You said weed So yeah. I mean You used to take yeah, it I took handlebars Not, not Percocets Okay, it's a different. Yeah, per, I took handlebars, Xanax. Okay, I took I not took one three or four times. That shit. But fat, but fentanyl was in those no. stuff too. Uh, oh, oh, say it again. <laughs> fentanyl was in that, right? No, I don't think fentanyl was in no handlebars. Mm. Every might was. Man, I seen niggas. I seen niggas. I seen niggas fall flat, flat on their face on no handlebar. I seen some crazy shit. My partner Rob Pollard, that nigga, that nigga passed out one time at a pre V party, fell right on his motherfucking face, jumped back up like nothing happened. Like handlebars killed a lot of people out falling asleep and having ricks. What did it do to you? Oh, you fall asleep after thirty minutes. That's what it did. To it you. was the dumbest shit we ever did back in the day. Like you just popped them handlebars and fall right to sleep. I want to ask you about uh, Tay Money. What Girl? happened? Yeah, where where is she at? What's going on with Tay Money now? Uh, I seen some new music come out from her. I seen that ass. You seen that ass. You, seen that, you, you just seen that ass. Don't sit there and talk about some music came out. You seen that picture like with us in the whole world seen that picture and you just try to disguise it. Man, you try to disguise just, it. Like you try to disguise so it. Bad. You try to disguise it. Like, no, man. I'm she just posts saying, pictures all the time. No, Which picture no, in particular you talking about? When she was in the past and see bent over with that thing, <laughs> that tattoo. The same picture I all have seen. Listen, when I seen that picture, I thought she was back on too. <laughs> see, I, she actually, to be honest with you she's a shoe in to go to cross over as an artist what's what why I, is called, she her? I called her i'm glad you said that. i called her about a month ago and told her she, she like she fell off what did she say she was hungry i said right i've been thinking the same thing that's my girl too i, I know you that's your that's that's the one like that's i was the first person to meet her you know what i'm saying yeah, I know. She always speak highly of you. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, cause she keeps she would she collab with any of the artists here, like any of the. If she did, she got some big X. But the thing is, what Tay Money is, she letting people, she letting people behind her who ain't got the vision for it, push her. You know what I'm saying? Damn, they still don't got no vision for her. What would you have done different with Tay Money if you'd have been able to uh, work with her? Post for the camera, stand on the sofas. What? You know we don't know manners. I would watch them. I watch people. Say, bro, I, I did it. I did an interview. I had it. She was on my house with Mo Three one day. I remember that. They did an interview. I remember she talked about. It. And she thought she looked so ratchet, not knowing that people had to see her come up and come up to mm -hmm. where she was at. So they put her in the game, just already on top. This gorgeous Barbie white girl that rap, and everybody ever seen her grow. So after a while, it's like, okay, they just take money. You know what I'm saying? So now, if you get another white girl to imitate everything that she did, she gonna be bigger than take money because nobody ever seen her grow. 
Nobody seen her she grow. She just came on the scene big. This beautiful white girl. Like, like she listened to some goofies. She did. She wow. took some goofy deals. I mean, like some, some goofy situations where they never seen her grow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.